let's get into a really unfortunate and sad uh, main topic number one. And our first topic gets brought to us by Adam Jacoby, who writes, Hey, John, I was very saddened to read um, that Dean Stockwell had died. I'd been a big fan of his since Married to the Mob back in 1990 or 1988. He wasn't large in stature, but you always felt his presence on screen. What are your thoughts and what was your favorite Stockwell role? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yeah, you know, it's funny. The, the news kind of came out last night about the passing of Dean Stockwell and he passes away at the age of 85. And I don't know why, listen, he has had such a long, illustrious, fantastic career that for some reason in my own head, I still thought of him as being like in his sixties. And I don't know if that's because he's been around for so long. I have no idea, but I remember besides hearing the jarring news that he had passed away, it was also jarring for me to realize he was at 85. This comes to us from the folks over at Variety who write, Stockwell earned multiple nominations for the Primetime Emmys and for the Golden Globes with a Golden Globe win in 1990 for Best Performance by an Actor in a Supporting Role in a Series, Miniseries, Motion Picture uh, Made for Television. Stockwell received a star on Hollywood's Walk of Fame on February 29, 1992. Among his best credits were a leading role in the sci-fi series Quantum Leap, which is what I believe he won his Golden Globe for, uh, Air Force One, and David Lynch films Dune and Blue Velvet. Loved him in those. Uh, Stockwell earned a supporting actor Oscar nomination for the 1988 film Married to the Mob. What followed were roles in some of the era's defining movies. These included uh, Wim Wenders' Paris, Texas, To Live and Die in L.A., the Rainmaker, Robert Altman's The Player, love that movie, uh, Married to the Mob, and of course, the two Lynch movies. And that again comes to us from the folks over at Variety. Um, the dude always, I like the way you you put it, Jacoby, the dude always had this incredible presence on screen. He brought a, a weight. If I mean, I don't know a better way to put it. He brought a weight to his roles and the ones he would, fulfill and despite all those iconic movies again look down some of these movies and and some of these projects that he's been involved in he's been involved in some of the best he's had an incredibly illustrious career but i'm going to be honest with you when i think of dean stockwell while some of you may think of him in academy nominated roles like married the mob live and die in la obviously a lot of people are going to think of quantum leap i think that's probably how most people that's what most people will think of when they hear the name dean stockwell but i'm not going to lie to you When I hear the name Dean Stockwell, I think of my number one all-time favorite television series, the Ronald D. Moore version of Battlestar Galactica, and his role as one of the Cylons. Now, he wasn't one of the main characters in Battlestar Galactica, but his presence in that show, and I hate using this word, but it brought a gravitas. Like it did, it brought a distinction to the show. He classed the joint up, as Robert Meyer Burnett would say. He would class the joint up just with his presence in the show. And I loved him in it. And of course, it's my number one all-time favorite show. So when I personally think of Dean Stockwell, Jacoby, uh, I will think of him in Battlestar Galactica. Obviously, a lot of you, Quantum Leap, maybe some of his other films, and we were really sad to hear about the passing uh, of the wonderful performer, Dean Stockwell. Anyway, guys, the question is for you. What are your thoughts now on the news of the passing of Dean Stockwell? Do you have a favorite role of his that you just, when you hear his name, you instantly think of that? Maybe it was Married to the Mob. Maybe it was Balsar Galactica. Maybe it was Quantum Leap. Whatever that is, jump on down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys.